Three centuries before the Targaryen conquest of Westeros, the ancient dragon lords of the Valyrian Freehold annexed a small island in the Narrow Sea to act as their westernmost territory. Although some local lords resisted, the Valyrians were too powerful and quickly defeated any opposition. Using their magic, they twisted black stone to form the fortress of Dragonstone beneath the active volcano they called Dragonmount. In 126 BC, a young woman named Daenys the Dreamer, a daughter of House Targaryen, foresaw a great tragedy that would befall the Valyrian Peninsula and convinced her family to move to the faraway island permanently. As a result, they were one of the few families to survive the doom of Valyria, which destroyed their homeland 12 years later in 114 BC. Over the next century, the Targaryens became a major power in the Narrow Sea controlling trade and deterring trouble through their dragons, who could sometimes be seen flying in the skies above. Aiding them in this venture were their allies in House Valerion of Driftmark and House Celtigar of Claw Isle, who were both of Valyrian ancestry. Within the great fortress of Dragonstone itself, one of the most interesting rooms that was constructed was the chamber of the Painted Table, located in the top floor of the central keep called the Stone Drum. In the chamber, they constructed a table more than 50 feet long and 25 feet wide, carved to form a detailed map of Westeros. There is also a great hall carved into the shape of a dragon lying on its belly, while the kitchens appear to be a curled up dragon with smoke venting through its nostrils. The Windworm Tower is home to the Rookery and Maester's Chambers, and is shaped like a screaming dragon. The Sea Dragon Tower, meanwhile, is shaped like a dragon looking out to sea. A garden later known as Aegon's Garden is found under the arch of the Dragon's Tail, where they grow tall dark trees, wild roses, towering thorny hedges, and cranberries. There is also a sept with statues representing the seven gods of the Andals, carved from the ships that carried the Targaryens from Valyria. In addition to the many dragon designs throughout the fortress, there are also many other beasts represented in carved statues, like basilisks, cockatrices, demons, griffins, hellhounds, manticores, minotaurs, and wyverns. Although the small island did not have many luxuries or useful resources, obsidian could be mined in its caverns, while the small villages that formed along the shore survived off the sea trade. Aenar Targaryen, who originally moved their house to the island, was succeeded as Lord of Dragonstone by his son Gaemon the Glorious, who in keeping with the Valyrian tradition of incest, married his sister, Daenys the Dreamer. Gaemon was succeeded by his son Aegon, who married his sister Elena and produced two sons. The elder brother Magon inherited the lordship of Dragonstone for a time, before it was passed to his younger brother Ares, and then his three sons, Aelix, Balon, and Damion. Damion was then succeeded by his son Arion, who married Valena Valerion and had three children, naming them Visenya, Aegon, and Rhaenys. Arion was succeeded by his son Aegon, who married both of his sisters, and together they led their forces west and conquered six of the seven kingdoms of Westeros. The Targaryens brought five living dragons with them from Valyria, of which only Balerion the Black Dread survived. But during their years on Dragonstone, two more of the creatures hatched, named Vagar and Meraxis. With three dragons and 1,600 soldiers, Aegon, later known as the Conqueror, landed at the mouth of Blackwater Rush, establishing the Aegon Fort, around which King's Landing formed. After the surrender of most of the continent, Dragonstone became a secondary home for House Targaryen, as the family now resided in the capital of King's Landing. And so King Aegon gave the lordship of the island to his youngest son, Maegor, who became known as the Prince of Dragonstone. Aegon was succeeded by his eldest son Aenys, who faced religious upheaval during his reign, made worse when his brother Maegor took a second wife, deeply angering the followers of the Faith of the Seven. Aenys then exiled his brother to Essos and gave the lordship of Dragonstone to his son and heir Aegon. However, Aenys died in 42 AC, at which point Maegor returned, violating the laws of inheritance to be crowned king of Westeros at Dragonstone. His short but brutal reign was inherited by his nephew Jaehaerys the Conciliator, who brought peace to Westeros and followed the example of his father Aenys, naming his heir as Prince of Dragonstone, thereby establishing the Targaryen tradition of placing the next in line for the throne as Lord of the Small Island. Leading up to the Dance of the Dragons, for the first time the heir to the Iron Throne was a woman, and so Rhaenyra Targaryen was named Princess of Dragonstone. 
It was there that she was crowned Queen of Westeros in 129 AC, after her younger brother Aegon attempted to usurp the throne, crowned king in the capital of King's Landing. The continent then erupted into civil war, which saw Rhaenyra take the Iron Throne for a time, before losing the capital and fleeing back to Dragonstone. Unfortunately, her brother Aegon had already taken the island, and so captured Rhaenyra and fed her to his dragon Sunfire. Aegon, however, also died soon after, leaving the throne to Rhaenyra's son Aegon III, whose ascension to power ended the war, and who later named his son and heir, Daeron, as the new Prince of Dragonstone. So many dragons died during the Westerosi Civil War that the race went extinct soon after. However, the Targaryens never forgot their connection to the powerful beasts, and some even died attempting to bring them back into the world. Under the reign of the last Targaryen king, Ares II, another attempt was made to hatch dragon eggs found in the depths of Dragonstone, but again they failed. In keeping with tradition, Ares' eldest son and heir, Rhaegar, was named Prince of Dragonstone, moving to the island with his wife, Elia Martell, and there had a daughter, Rhaenys, and son, Aegon. But war again came to Westeros, seeing Robert Baratheon rise against Targaryen rule, leading to the death of the king and heir. Rhaegar's family were killed by rebel forces in the capital, while the king's wife, Rayla, and last surviving son, Viserys, managed to survive on Dragonstone. However, Rayla was pregnant and died giving birth to her daughter, Daenerys, born during a terrible storm that destroyed the last of the Targaryen fleet. Soon, the newly crowned King Robert sent his brother Stannis to capture the island, but found that the children were smuggled away to Essos. Robert had no legitimate children when he took the throne, and so named Stannis, his brother and heir, as Lord of Dragonstone, both in keeping with tradition and knowing that the island needed a strong ruler to see it thrive. Stannis, however, took it as an insult, seeing his younger brother Renly named Lord of Storm's End, given a much easier and lucrative position. After the death of King Robert, the continent again felt a civil war, with many believing the king's children illegitimate. The War of the Five Kings, as it was known, saw Stannis crowned on Dragonstone, and there raised a force to invade the capital in the Battle of Blackwater Bay. However, a timely alliance between House Lannister and Tyrell saw Stannis defeated, retreating to Dragonstone, where he planned his next move. Convinced by his hand of the king, Dalbo Seaworth, Stannis led his army north to help the brothers of the Night's Watch defend the realm against a wildling invasion. Although he knew this left Dragonstone vulnerable, Stannis called on Sir Roland Storm to defend the island in his name. During his time at the Wall, Stannis became aware of the need for Obsidian, also called Dragonglass, as they prepared for the coming of the others, and so sent word to mine as much as possible while he still held Dragonstone. Unfortunately, the Lannisters were eager to take the island, and sent 2,000 men along with the Red Wine fleet from the Reach, laying siege to starve out the defenders. However, the Iron Islands, under their new king, Euron Greyjoy, began attacking the Shield Islands of the Reach, making it necessary for the Red Wine fleet to return home. Yet Queen Regent Cersei Lannister refused to allow them to leave until Dragonstone was conquered, and so Loras Tyrell personally led the attack to take the island by force. Loras was reported to have survived the battle, but was gravely injured, and his father Mace Tyrell reported that Stannis left no wealth behind. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Yormon Crowkiller, Jake the Red Fury, and Nesha the Flamebearer. If you'd like to help the channel with a monthly donation, click on the Patreon link, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more.